How many people are so glad to be back outside this year? Isn't it great? Sandy was lit last year, but it wasn't the same because we couldn't do this. And this year is very special because Sandy turns 10 years old tonight. And we are so happy to be back here tonight because last year we couldn't do it, right? I know, so disappointing. And what a big year, right? Sandy, you're 10. I'm saying she looks good, right? I remember when Always. Sandy first arrived here on the waterfront. I think it's been 10 years. It's awesome. If you've never seen this light show, you guys right here, you're in the perfect spot. Actually, it doesn't matter, does it? You could be all the way back there. It's perfect for you to see this amazing show that's about to happen. And it's extra special this year if you're just turning out for the first time because Sandy is turning 10 this year. Woo! So she has a very special birthday, and you'll probably notice that with some of the, the decorations on the sand tree. But they do an incredible job. I mean, it takes weeks. If you haven't seen it, we've been uh, watching the whole process on our newscast. It takes weeks to get to this point to build this, this beautiful tree. It's going to be a lot of fun tonight. All right, so who's ready to get this party started? All right, next up, I want to introduce one of the folks behind this, West Palm Beach Mayor Keith James. That's so exciting. West Palm Beach makes some noise. I can't hear you. Let Sandy hear you. This is her 10th birthday. All right, all right. Thank you, Aaron and Mark. I tell you what, we're excited to have you here for yet another Sandy Tree Lighting. And we appreciate WPB 20F's, WPB F 25's continued partnership on Holiday in Paradise and so many of our other signature events. Thank you so much. So good evening again, downtown West Palm Beach. Are you ready to kick off this year's Holiday in Paradise? I tell you what, it's so great to see so many of you out there. How does it feel to be in person again at our waterfront for this event, huh? Are you ready to welcome our beloved Sandy Tree and her friends? Thank you. Now, I think I can speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to celebrate Sandy's 10th birthday in just a few minutes. However, before we move on, I would be remiss if I didn't recognize my partners on the dais. Our city staff will put off yet another successful holiday in paradise and our valued partners who have helped make tonight possible. So bear with me. First off, let me join me in welcoming your City Commissioners, these people work so hard for you. First off, Commission President Joe Paduzzi from District 4. Joe! <laughs> District 1 Commissioner Kelly Schultz. <laughs> District 2 Commissioner Shalanda Warren. <laughs> District 3 Commissioner Christy Fox. And last but certainly not least, District 5 Commissioner Christina Lambert. I also want to give a special shout out to our City Administrator, Faye Johnson. Assistant City Administrator, Armando Fana. Parks and Recreation Director, Leah Rockwell. And Youth Services Manager, Jennifer McGowan from Mandel Public Library. Jennifer. The library is this year's community partner for Sandy's 10th year, 10 years worth of stories. Last but certainly not least, our community events division manager, Mary Pennant and her outstanding team. Mary. That, that talented team has been hard at work these past few months preparing for this month's festivities so that you and your loved ones can once again enjoy our much-loved Holiday in Paradise programming in person as safely as possible. Mary, congratulations on yet another success this holiday season. Another round of applause for Mary. Another round of applause for your city commissioners. Another round of applause for our staff. Now, we also have several community partners with us tonight. They have played an invaluable role in the promotion and development of Holiday in Paradise. First, Margarita Portella, Administrative Director. Well, she got her own fan club here. 
Margarita is the Administrative Director of Outreach and Liaison Development for Joe DiMaggio Children's Health Specialty Center. <laughs> Matt Atkins, General Manager for Land Rover Palm Beach of the Myers Aldo Group. Matt? <laughs> Shannon Wilson, Assistant Vice President of Recruiting for New Day USA. <laughs> Zach Greenberg, Operations Manager for the FBL Eco Discovery Center at Manatee Lagoon. Zach? <laughs> Rich Anderson, Executive Director and CEO of Peggy Adams Animal Rescue League. <laughs> Sergio Piedra, Director of Community Engagement and Advocacy for the Palm Beaches. And Cheryl Mariente from the Downtown Development Authority. She's the manager of urban placemaking. I cannot express enough. You got your own fan club too. I cannot express enough how grateful I am for each of your organization's partnership and support on such a significant event for our city. Thank you all very much again. Thank you. So as been mentioned earlier, and we all know why we're here, this year we celebrate Sandy's 10th birthday. That's 10 years of story times and caroling with this tree and her friends. That's 10 years of holiday memories along our West Palm Beach waterfront. That's 10 years of coming together as a community during a time of joy, giving, and celebration. So, this is really special in light of what we've gone through for the past couple of years, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thank you all so much for joining us tonight. And now, are you ready for the star of the night? You know, Sandy, since she's gotten older, she's a little bit cranky. So if you don't make enough noise, Sandy may not come out. So, are you ready? Let Sandy know you're ready. Am I ready? Do be sting. I've been waiting a whole year for this, Mayor James. All right, all right. Well, it's time to turn on the lights. I really want to win the USA Today competition for your city, Mayor James. Now, don't forget to scan the QR code on the LED screen and vote for me. I'm wearing my sassy pants today, folks. And if you don't vote right now, I'm not going to perform. That's right. Even trees can be prima donnas. So scan the QR code on the LED screen with your smartphone right now and vote. Then vote every day until December 6th. Vote, 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 people. Bless your hearts and mind your mamas. All right, Sandy. Thank you so much. And she's talking about voting, so I know everyone's looking at Sandy right now, but for a second, look over here at this big screen. See the QR code? That's how you can vote for Sandy. Can you think of every single person voted for her right now, and then again tomorrow, and the next day, until Monday? We could be known all around the country for this awesome display, so help Sandy out. Oh. All right, now the big moment, once you got that QR code, if everyone could t turn around, get your cell phones out, and look at Sandy Tree, the only 35 foot tall, 700 ton sand tree in the entire world. I want us to all get together and do a countdown together. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sandy Tree. 